Oh, this is something that you've just got to take a look at. You can't really see it so well at the moment with the naked eye, but just about there is Venus. Just, just give you a clue. That's my arm, my thumb at arm's length. Just to give you a clue how close we are to the horizon, how how near we are to after sunset. And if you take a look through the telescope, even the poorest of telescopes will show you Venus right there. So let me see if I set it up a bit. Oops. And it's this absolutely magnificent crescent. And just so we're clear, I located this originally with my binoculars. Um, and my binoculars are 7x50s. They're literally the cheapest binoculars that you can get. Well, not the cheapest, but they're like 40 bucks or something. Maybe not even that. Um, and even at that, you can see it with those binoculars. There's a beautiful little crescent pointing that way. Now, what's going to happen over the next few days is Venus is going to go and boom, boom, yeah, over successive days. And in maybe not even a week's time, it's going to go between us and the sun. During which time, of course, it won't appear in the evening or the morning sky. And then it's going to shoot out on the other side. And the other side, of course, is the morning sky. So what you'll see is it goes from a super thin, thin crescent pointing that way in the evening sky to doing sort of more or less exactly the same thing in the morning sky. Let's see if we can come back to our Venus. And we've lost it. Um, okay, I'm going to just gamble on some directions here. Oh, there he is. Good. So, uh, yeah, uh, strongly recommend that you take a look at this, even in the most modest of telescopes. You always run into the problem that it's low in the sky, so you're going to get loads of chromatic aberration, and the atmosphere is always going to be unstable to slow down. But it is stunning. It's this little moon just sat there in the sky. Oops, sorry. And if you want a real challenge, um, I've seen Venus like two days after it comes out from behind the sun. But that was in in the desert and it was visible for like, you know, maybe a minute after sunrise or something. That's a piece of dirt on the camera there, by the way. Anyway, so yeah, strongly recommended that you take a look at Venus. Because at the moment... I mean, it, it, it's like this for you know, a week in the evening sky every three years, give or take. And you know, it, it'll be like this for a week in the morning sky as well. And that's basically it. That's it for um, giant crescent Venus for, for a while. And that has got to be him going. That little wispy stuff there. With him going. Oh, there he is. I see him. I see Venus. There, right in the middle. Can't quite see its crescent though. Okay, this is just an attempt to show that I wasn't completely bluffing. We need to find that thing. And there you go, that's Venus through some of the shittiest binoculars ever. And that's what you're looking at. And let me just give you my thumb at arm's length for comparison. All right, so it's just not visible with the naked eye as a crescent.